Hello, all you beautiful wise women. I am making this little video. I just wanted to share with you um, a little bit of a process that I have just been through and come out on the other side. And it is with respects to <laughs> having a critical mind. Um, and it's around the theme of acceptance. And I've just come through a bit of a, like an aha moment, I suppose. Um, and I realized like I'm, I'm moving through something at the moment and it's like this last month has been really intense, right? So it's like everything that could go wrong did go wrong, crashed my car, all the bills came at the same time. Then it was like <laughs> in time with school holidays as well. And, and Jay takes it usually two weeks off so that he can spend that fully with his boys because we only get them for school holidays. And so, you know, financially, it's been a little bit of a challenge. Been living paycheck to paycheck, just kind of scraping by. I had been cocooning and hiding and not wanting to put myself out there too much in the online sphere and going through a burning up old stories I suppose and just letting go like really taking the time to let go of this old self so that I can transition more fully into embodying this um, more authentic and truer deeper version of myself in full embodiment right so because I am critically minded and I'm you know I've kind of got that skeptical mind too where I don't take things at face value and I'm always over analyzing <laughs> And so anyway, I, I get quite critical and I was just looking at my life the way that it is presenting now and from a very super, super critical lens. And I realised that that critical side of me comes through so strong because I know that this is not the way that it's meant to be. And so I... Part of me is the idealist, right? That visionary that I have the ability to dream in the future and I know, I know what I'm meant to be doing and how, I'm, how my life is meant to unfold, you know, on that ideal dreaming version and the reality that I'm being faced with at the moment is it's not matching up. And so there's a contrast, there is a stark contrast from where I know I want to be and I should be and I deserve to be to where I am now. And so I realize that I have been resisting transitioning into this new, newer, more real embodied state and, and sending out resistance energy. And in that, that means that I've been hiding and not doing the work that I'm meant to be doing and being consistently inconsistent, which is like a thing of mine that I am learning and maturing into with discipline gracefully and not so gracefully sometimes so I realized that I had this chat to Jay the other day yesterday and I was like part of me becomes so critical because it's journeying with acceptance like yeah okay I can accept that this is the way that life is at the moment and that you know we'll get through it and things will change and everything's transient in nature and ephemeral but where I came from the perspective is like that acceptance, you've got to be really careful that you don't enter into acceptance to then be a state of settling. Yes, we can accept our current reality, but we don't need to settle for what it is. And I find that that's where this, it's almost like a schism happens because I know that I'm being so critical because of the contrast I'm still accepting, like I totally get it. I totally get that there's a process for this and allowing it to come through. But at the same token, I am really mindful that I am not going to settle for this and that I want more, I desire more, I deserve more. And I'm going to actively participate in creating the means to bring more into my life of particular experiences and the way that I want to feel and the way that I would like my family to feel as well. So that was really interesting when I was like, oh, journeying with this acceptance and the key in all of it is gratitude. And so because I was so invested in the contrast of, you know, 
my life at the moment is not in my ideal of what I'm growing into, I had become quite sharp and critical and created tension because it's not where I want to be and I'm looking forward rather than being completely present, yeah? And so I was walking, uh, I had to go and see Maya. She was at her dad's place the other day and my phone whacked out and wasn't working and couldn't get in touch with her dad to see what time he was bringing her back and so went for a walk down the block um, just to check in and on the way I saw these um, labourers uh, pouring a slab for the new foundations of the house. And I just stopped for a moment and I just had this full heart explosion and wave of gratitude come through for my man and the fact that, yeah, times are a little bit challenging right now and, you know, yeah, we have that pressure of financial stress as well, but he's out there busting his ass. You know, full-time work, he's paying all the bills, you know, he's keeping this ship afloat for now uh, while I continually develop the time to invest in my businesses as well and and at home with the children and rather than being super critical and projecting the blame onto him which I tend to do (laughs) sometimes because it you know neither of us are actively participating weekly in checking in with each other or doing the work necessary to get us out of this funk as quickly and as sufficiently as possible and so, you know, that I see that contrast of where I'm lacking and he's lacking. And so that critical side of me focuses on the lack of where things can be because it's not based on the ideal. And then here I am seeing these dudes busting their ass in the sun and then I was just like, no, come back into the gratitude and always focus on what you do have, not what you don't have. And that when you totally embody the energies of gratitude, that's when you align with it and bring more in and bring more in fully with a genuine heartfelt nature that you kind of become magnetic for experiences so I just wanted to share that little um little bit of a process that came through for me I am sending you so much love and many blessings